Hello, this is Don and I'd like to discuss some free tools that you can use for your e-learning content development. Many customers and clients of eLeap have come to us uh, asking for tools that they can easily access uh, that can help them uh, develop e-learning content. Uh, we do know that this is one of the most time consuming and, and frankly uh, frustrating parts of uh, getting your e-learning off the ground. Uh, there are three uh, tools that I'm going to uh, talk about today and I hope that these uh, you'll find these tools are uh, useful in, in what uh, uh, whatever e-learning field that you are in. Uh, the first of these tools uh, is called uh, Cam Studio. That is C-A-M-S-T-U-D-I-O. Uh, do a simple Google search and I believe you can go to their website. This is a desktop tool that allows you to kind of capture uh, screenshots. Uh, what, what is neat about this is that it allows you to capture screenshots in motion. So basically these are uh, video uh, screenshots. So imagine that you have a piece of software uh, that you want to show people how to use. You have a new uh, employee entry, data entry software or a new product and you want to teach folks how to use it. Well, download Camp Studio, and essentially you will uh, set up a recording session. Uh, they've got quick uh, uh, keys that you can actually click on. And what that does is it begins to capture your screen uh, shots. But not only that, you can also uh, verbally record uh, your video or your screenshots and give some narrations to this, uh, to your screen capture. And, and at the end of the day, it saves it as an AVI file which you can easily upload into eLeap or if you want to turn it into a flash file for insertion into eLeap you can do that too. Uh, so Cam Studio is certainly something to check out. Uh, if you need any assistance with how to use Cam Studio, I uh, certainly ask uh, the folks at eLeap, we are happy to help you do that. Uh, the second tool I like to talk about is called Audacity. That's A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, Audacity. Now what Audacity does is it's an audio recorder. So essentially what that does is it allows you to record um, a narration. Now, why is this important or how can you use this in your e-learning? Well, imagine if you have a PowerPoint file that you want to record some uh, narrations uh, to. Uh, I know a lot of the, the Microsoft uh, PowerPoint programs now allow you to do that, but if you don't have uh, an inbuilt tool in uh, PowerPoint to record audio narrations, Audacity is your choice. As a matter of fact, I use Audacity to record podcasts, which is one thing that you can also upload into eLeap. Uh, again, simply type in Audacity into Google uh, and you'll get the website. I believe it's audacity.org. Download it and what you can do is you, you basically start a session. You can record and again, all you need is a simple microphone if you don't already have one on your computer. Uh, go to your local Best Buy and you can pick up a microphone. Audacity allows you to record into MP3 format or WAV format. Any of these can then be turned into e-learning content, either individually or as part of a PowerPoint or indeed as part of a video series. Uh, the third one I want to talk about is called SlideShare. Now what SlideShare is, is a tool for you to upload PowerPoint that converts it into Flash for you to either display to the world or to embed into, let's say, a software like eLeap. Now, embedding PowerPoint is very simple in eLeap. You can either upload it as a single file, or you can download, for example, the embed code from SlideShare, and you can easily uh, incorporate that into eLeap and pull that in there. Now, all of these tools that I've talked about, uh, certainly Cam Studio, Audacity, and SlideShare are all free. F-R-E-E, -E, they're free. All you need is a little bit of your time. Go download any of these and you can begin to build your own e-learning content. As always, contact the experts at eLeap. We're ready to help you uh, upload and create your own e-learning content, even if you don't have any of these tools. Uh, you can contact eLeap, www.eleapsoftware.com. Thanks again, and I hope these tips have been helpful.